Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the first date coming in over here. So you might be starting a new relationship or you might be starting to date again. And that's coming in. You're trying to get over any uh, you know issues that you had with domination and bullying. Maybe that happened in your previous relationship. So you are dealing with those kinds of uh, issues. Maybe you don't want any kind of relationship that is going to go that way, obviously. Um, so you are also trying to sort that out. So there is a need for honesty in this particular relationship if you don't want to repeat of that particular situation uh, where this person becomes very dominating or very you know very much a bully so be upfront right from the, the onset of this first date or this beginning of this relationship uh, and uh, you know lay your cards on the table and tell them where you stand uh, before you get into something long term so you are moving on you've been using a lot of your charms and maybe this is why somebody's been very interested and asked you out on that first date so you're moving on uh, from whatever you've come out of so going into the future there is a bit of confusion and lack of clarity over there so um, something about this relationship is uh, you know um, not um, giving you uh, you know um, the answers that you want so there's a bit of lack of clarity you maybe you're undecided about what to do in this particular date uh, or this particular relationship you're not sure whether you want it or you're not sure whether this is the relationship for you you there's a bit of infatuation going on over here so you might be very attracted to this particular person and this is why it's uh, adding a little bit of confusion uh, to the whole situation so a need for honesty over there and it's something starting something new and also you know need to uh, get some clarity in that situation so that's why it's good to be very very upfront uh, right from the beginning so you are clear as to what your goals are and you're clear as to what their goals are before you start something and don't lose your head so don't be too so infatuated that you don't see the truth when it is uh, you're faced with it so it's important to be very level-headed before you start a relationship so those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the Romantic Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Let's see. at the bottom of the deck you've got the five of pentacles over here and this is feeling lost alone abandoned uh unsupported uh maybe you know in the, in the past you had that kind of um maybe the person uh that you were involved in was very uh, dominating and you had a very codependent relationship with them you relied on them a lot maybe for finances as well and now that has come to an end and you are feeling that sense of loss um you know after that particular relationship so the the five of pentacles is about you know loss and not feeling very supported at the moment feeling pretty lonely as well um you know and um like I said, there might have been that uh, issue of you being very dependent on that particular person for everything, for that support. So right now, you're going through the Three of Rods and you've got that Ace of Cups coming in. So you, uh, you know, whatever that relationship is, or even though it had that impact of you feeling very uh, left out in the cold, like, you know, maybe with that Five of Pentacles, you're going to be, you know, socializing a lot more. There's a lot of people that are interested in you. You can see this person's got a lot of suitors coming in for you. And, uh, you know, making a lot of offers maybe, uh, to you so you're going to be meeting a lot of people uh, and you know being the center of attention you know leo is a sign that is very dynamic and people love uh, a leo because there's a lot of uh, love and light that comes in with them uh, you know a lot of energy comes in because they're ruled by the sun so it looks like you're going to be meeting a lot of people and a lot of people making offers to you various types of offers but you can see uh, this person's being very flattered by everything that's come in and it's going to bring in a new relationship you've got that ace of cups coming in over here so uh, one of these offers is going to pan out as being something that's going to be uh, an emotional relationship uh, a beginning of a new love over there coming in for you <clears throat> so in the past that relationship that you were in made you feel very trapped uh, and you know she's got this bird in the cage over there and all everything looked really good and it looked like it was really 
you know, a lovely relationship to the rest of the world, it wasn't something that you were comfortable with because it was too restricting for you. And maybe this is, and you wanted your freedom. It seems like you wanted your freedom. Then it seems like things have changed with that 10 of, uh, um, with the 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune. It seems like that old situation is now over and done with, and you are now moving on. So the big changes have come in in the last few months for you. <coughs> Maybe you ended that relationship because that person was very restricting. Because you can see that bird's in the cage over here, but this man's watching this woman's back, tying these little knots behind her back, watching her every move, controlling her finances. So whatever that relationship was, was very, very restricting and very dominating and uh, very manipulative in a certain sense. And maybe this person was very, you know, controlled the finances as well. And But that cycle is now ended. You've ended it because it seems like it didn't work for you. Now, going to the future, there's an offer coming in for you over here where you've got this knight, um, this page of rods, so messages coming in. So this new offer with this new ace of cups coming in, uh, it looks like this person's, um, you know, asking you out on a date and uh, maybe, you know, going out and having uh, some fun with this person. So going out on the town, going maybe out for dinner, maybe to the theater or the movies, but you're definitely dating here and it seems like that offer is coming in for you. Um, this could be a fellow uh, fire sign person because this could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well uh, coming in. But there's definitely this offer coming in for you over here. And they're quite dynamic. And they're quite, um, you know, um, th this man's wearing a top hat and his uh, best suit. So they're quite smart as well, smartly dressed. You know, they, they take care of their appearances quite a bit. So this relationship might be a, a very physical, very sexual relationship. Uh, you've got that ace of rods over there and something brand new beginning. So whatever this is, it might start off as a physical relationship. It might end up uh, that you develop some feelings towards this person. But there's definitely a brand new relationship coming in that's got that physical element to it. Now, around you, just watch out for people causing trouble. You've got this page of rods, uh, page of swords over here, uh, which could be somebody who stirs up gossip, uh, carries tales, uh, says nasty things. So that could be somebody around around you that is causing or even speaks about a little bit of lies somebody adding a spanner to the works there so just watch out there could be somebody that will might stir up some trouble maybe just out of pure jealousy now this particular this is your hopes and fears this particular person uh, that you want to come in, you want them to be dynamic, you want them to be uh, somebody who is, uh, you know, ambitious as you are, and somebody who moves quickly, uh, and somebody who maybe likes to travel a lot as well. So that's the kind of person you're looking for. Um, so going into the future, the final outcome, you've got the moon card over here, the two of cups, and uh, the um, high priestess. So the moon card is talking about that confusion, uh, you know, and lack of clarity. And this was in the energy read as well. So there's something that is going on that is confusing you. Now, this person might not be very upfront about things. So just be careful of deception. So even though this relationship has started off pretty well, uh, they might be hiding something as well. Also, you're a bit, uh, you know, you, you may not be seeing everything. You might be swept off your feet and be so um, enthralled by their advances that you don't actually see that they are hiding something. So be very careful and tread very carefully with this moon card. Uh, you can see things happening. She's He's giving her flowers. He's saying all the right things that she wants to hear here but he's hiding something because he's behind her uh, things are being hidden from you so be careful uh, when you're dealing make sure that everything is up front and also with this card although it's the beginning uh, it's a two of cups and there's that soul connection that you feel this man is wearing a mask and so is this woman and you've got these two spilled um, buckets at the bottom so this you know both of them are not really up front both of them are keeping secrets from each other, and this is going to end up not allowing this relationship to progress. It might end up, uh, you know, not uh, going anywhere. So it's important to be honest and open and, um, you know, take off the masks, reveal yourselves, uh, get the secrets out in the open so that the relationship can progress if that's what you want. And the high priestess is saying, you know, there are secrets as well. So maybe this person is keeping secrets. There are three cards over here showing that whatever this person is, presenting to you is not quite all what it's cut out to be. So you've got the moon where things are hidden. You've got this two of cups where this man is wearing masks and this woman is wearing masks. And you've got this high priestess, she's got a veil. So something has not come to light yet. There's some secret 
that has not come to light that this person is keeping from you or you might be keeping from them. You need to do your research with this uh, uh, High Priestess card. You need to ask some questions. You need to find out exactly what's going on before you make any kind of commitment. And, um, you know, you take it slowly. Don't rush into things. Don't be rash because there's something that is uh, being kept from you. Some kind of thing is being hidden from you and you need to discover what that is. It might have a big impact on your life. So there is that new relationship, but just watch out. Watch your back. Make sure that you are going and uh, you know finding out if there's anything that is being kept from you. So this is the um, Archangel Power Tarot for the Oracle Read. So committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations and topics that make your heart flutter. So the Knight of Raphael is the Knight of Cups. So there is that offer coming in, and it is going to be a committed relationship, it seems. Uh, but you are, and it's going to probably sweep you off your feet, but make sure that you are doing your research or finding out if there's anything that is being hidden from you uh, before you get into it. You've got the Nine of Ariel over here, which says your dreams are fulfilled, uh, love for beautiful things in life. So this is about, you know, you are acting, you are very independent. This is the Nine of Ariel. Uh, you know, you control your own finances now. You're very much in control of everything. A lot of people um, admire you as well. Uh, and maybe this is what happens. This Knight of Raphael does admire that about you, your independence. Uh, it looks like the difficulties are over that you've been through. You've got that rainbow coming in after all the drama that you went through. And and so, uh, you know, things are going to be fulfilled. Your dreams are going to be fulfilled. And you've got that two of Raphael, which is the two of cups. So two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. So this is a, a really good relationship that is coming up for you here. But you'll need to be very upfront and you'll need to talk to each other and be, you know, completely honest, completely open. And it looks like, you know, this is going to be something that is going to be a long-term committed relationship. And it's a very soul connection as well. So something coming up for you, but there's still something that is still hidden and that needs to be revealed before everything can go the way you want to. So that new relationship coming in, it looks like it's going to be a really good relationship as well. Uh, but make sure that you're completely honest and open about everything that is being said. And just watch out for some troublemakers, uh, you know, due to gossip or, or things that they say that stir up problems. Uh, don't reveal things to people whom you can't trust. You know, they say loose lips sink ships, so don't reveal everything to anybody who doesn't, uh, you don't trust. Keep your, play your cards very close to your chest. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.